Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing visa crackdowns, immigration crackdowns, I should say, here in the kingdom. Uh, there have been recent raids here in the kingdom, and these are continuing on sort of a broader trend that's occurred basically for the last two years, where we've got the good guys in, bad guys out initiative with the sort of more tactical Operation X-Ray Outlaw Foreigner that is sweeping throughout the country and raiding various locations in order to find people who are either in the kingdom illegally, came, came into the kingdom illegally, remained in the kingdom illegally, or are in any other way violating immigration laws here in the kingdom. So in a recent article from March 22nd, 2019 from The Nation, that's nationmultimedia.com, title of the article, Immigration's tally of foreigners arrested hits 8,400. Quoting directly, another 490 foreigners were caught in the latest immigration police dragnet this week, which involved simultaneous raids at 229 locales around the country. It was the 46th such uh, crackdown and brought the total number of locations searched to 7,145 and the number of arrests to 8,400. And I think that's just, well, no, that's not just for this year, I don't think, but that's since this initiative began. Quoting further, the 27 from Myanmar, 9 from Cambodia, 4 from Laos, 3 from India, 2 each from China, Vietnam, and Russia, and 1 each from France, Poland, South Korea, and Canada, allegedly either failed to report their stay at, a spe at specified addresses or violated the law on foreign worker management. Now, the reason I quoted that last part is I wanted to note a couple of things. First of all, this address reporting requirement, they're taking this increasingly seriously. And I've seen multiple reports where, where they've said that someone's been arrested. They haven't noted anything other with respect to overstay or anything, just failure to report one's address, which is a violation of the Immigration Act here. So the, you know, it's a problem. You really need to be cognizant of the fact that there are reporting requirements with respect to addresses. Now, that being said, hotels and things like that, they go ahead and deal with this. They have their own mechanism for dealing with this. But those who are sort of living in the kingdom, you know, for lack of a better term, sort of couch surfing or just kind of, you know, taking it day by day, be careful because uh, this issue can be a problem. The other thing I thought was interesting mentioned here is violation of the law on foreign worker management. Um, I think, again, what we're looking at is immigration's also very aware of those who are violating the labor laws here in the kingdom, most notably those who are working without a work permit. And for that reason, I think it's pretty safe to assume that if you're thinking of working in the kingdom without a work permit, think again. It's probably not a great idea. Uh, clearly, and another thing to take away from this video, 8,400 arrested, but, but this is more important, I think. Locations searched, 7,145. 7,145 locations have been searched in Thailand since the initiation of this program. And I'm not even sure, from the context of the article, I can't tell if they mean what time period we're talking about. But let's go all the way back to the inception of the good guys in, bad guys out. That's only a couple of years ago. So 7,000 in, you know, two, three years, that is a ton of wealth and resources that's being expended on doing these raids. They're very serious about this. They want to make sure everybody's here in the kingdom legally, and they're maintaining their status legally and lawfully. So those who are thinking of not doing so, I think it's a really prudent idea to just do a border run or just leave, get yourself back in status, and maintain lawful status here in the kingdom because failure to do so could result in prolonged detention. It could, it could result in blacklisting where you're never allowed to come back to the kingdom. And nobody really wants that. I don't think anybody really wants that. I mean, yes, in certain circumstances, certainly the law enforcement apparatus wants to go ahead and deport criminals. But people who are just, you know, having issues with overstay or something, I don't think anybody really wants to be blacklisting those folks. But that being said, they're doing it. And they're taking a hard line on this issue. As I've said in many other videos, the, the overall paradigm has shifted uh, from an attitude of administrative processing with respect to immigration 
over to an attitude of law enforcement. They view these as violations of the law, and they, in some ways they view the people that are violating the law as criminals. So for that reason, I think it's a good idea to stay prudent, stay aware of one's visa status, maintain one's visa status, and don't become part of one of these raids. You know, you don't want to be detained, and you don't want to be deported, and you don't want to be blacklisted. Because those who are, who are apprehended here in the kingdom can be blacklisted for, for as long as five years on one day of overstay if they're apprehended in the kingdom. So, something to keep in mind. I don't think it's a good idea to overstay. I never have. And just be extra vigilant moving forward in maintaining one's visa status.